Hey crafty peeps, let's just get right into the crafting. I'm gonna take one of these unfinished wood hearts from Dollar Tree and I cut out a piece of scrapbook paper from my stash. It's this gold stripe paper and I will just adhere that down with some double stick tape. I prefer that over Mod Podge because it, you can just get it on there a lot flatter and it stays really well. So a little scrapbooking paper technique. I got it off just a hair, but. All right, so then I'm gonna take one of these red doily um, hearts from, I do believe I got it at Target. And then this white scalloped heart was in my scrapbook stash, but you could cut one out on your Cricut um, if you like something similar. I also picked up these gold rub-ons from Dollar Tree and I cut out uh, one of the words or two of the words there that said we love and then look how cute these little toothpick um, sticks are from Dollar Tree. I didn't know what I was going to do with them when I bought them but I knew I wanted them for something. I think you could like cut the little hearts off and have these little wood beads that would be really cute too. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and rub on this little these words. I love Dollar Tree rub-ons; um, they're really good quality, and it's you know it's a nice like gold foil look. Once I uh, get that down onto this heart, I'm going to go ahead and take that ribbon that you see off to the side, which is also from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to tie a simple bow around the side of the heart. And then I'm going to take those little toothpicks and feed those into the center of this ribbon. Now, just so that I get it nice and secure, I go ahead and use just a little bit of glue um, so that my bow is in place nicely. Um, but what I should have done is stick the toothpicks down first because then they were kind of going into the glue, which isn't a huge deal. I mean, but you should probably stick those in and then glue it down. Okay, again, I'm just going to use my double stick tape, put this down. You see I put it, um, I'm putting these things in not in a circle order, which you can if you like, placing things right on top of each other, but I like having them off center. Super, super simple project so far as you see. I'm just going to use my little bit of hot glue to keep those toothpicks in place where I want them. And that's it for this sign. You can put a hanger on it if you like, but this is how it turned out. Okay, so I um, knew when I bought this styrofoam heart that I was going to want to cut it in half so that I could put it on a sign and it could have a 3D look. So I just take my um, blade here and I cut it in half. Now, once I get it cut all the way around, I took my like Cricut spatula and I just kind of worked it uh, way down in there because it's a little bit sharp and then it just popped in half. And then I'm going to take this scrapbook paper and I'm just going to start tearing it into pieces. So this is what I get after I've torn it all up. And then now that I have half of a heart, I'm just going to Mod Podge all of this music type paper onto my heart. I also want to mention that when I was cutting the heart in half, it has a seam. So it's super easy just to follow the seam and cut it in half. So it really wasn't a lot of work. Um, and now I have another half that I can do something with for another project. So once I get all of these um, pieces of scrapbook paper down on the heart, um, then I'm just going to decorate the heart a little bit and add it to a sign. This is a super simple project, um, but I think it is very unique and I really like how it turned out. I just want to take a quick moment and invite you over to my Instagram page. My handle over there is dollar underscore underscore mom. And over there I share all these projects, sometimes quick tutorials, how I decorate, uh, different cost effective budget friendly items, all sorts of stuff over there on my Instagram page. I sure hope that you will join me. Again, it's dollar underscore underscore mom. All right, see you over there. I'd also like to know if you could comment down below, how are you liking these quicker, easy DIYs that go real quick? Or do you like it when I was taking my time a little more and showing you the steps for a little bit longer? Let me know down in the comments below.
I've had this round uh, sign in my stash <laughs> since the Halloween before last, I do believe. It was $3 in the Target dollar spot. And, you know, sometimes I have these signs and I think they're so cute and I save them. I don't know why, but I'm glad I did because I feel like this heart fits perfectly on this circle sign and I like the neutral look of it so I didn't have to paint or do anything like that. So you see I just hot glued it down onto the sign. This uh, lace trim from Dollar Tree is so beautiful. I may have let out a little squeak when I saw it in the store. I just love it. So I'm just going to kind of put it on at a diagonal there. You see these hearts I have. I picked them up at Hobby Lobby. They retail for $4.99. I bought them last year. I don't remember if I bought them on clearance or on sale, um, but there's a ton of them, so I know I didn't pay the full price. I found this little tag that says I'm yours in my sticker stash, and then I'm just going to glue this down. This is my Barely Art Precision Glue. I love it. It's linked down below. It's really good for small areas. And then just on the tips there, I do use some hot glue just to make sure it's nice and secure to this heart. Then all I need to do is glue down the little tag as well as the heart, and this project's complete. I love when I don't have to paint. I mean, I did Mod Podge, which is kind of like painting, but everything's neutral. I love the neutralness of this, and that makes this project complete. Sometimes for a holiday, I buy way in advance. When I saw this uh, globe here for graduation, I knew I was going to use it for Valentine's. So what I went ahead and I ripped off all the paper, I sanded it down, and then I used Rust-Oleum chalk paint to paint the whole thing. Now I'm going to take my black Sharpie and my gold Sharpie, and I'm just going to draw around uh, where as you will there you go you can see it <laughs> leave my white little globe there white I went on my Cricut and this was already in their design space and I'm just adding it down to the sign and that's it obviously a very quick quick uh, project um again I, I knew I wanted to say something like you're my world or something for Valentine's so I picked it up way back then and this is something you really could um, put maybe a little different saying about You're My World um, for everyday decor. And that's it for this project. A super quick project here. Uh, this is one of the houses from Dollar Tree. It has like a dry erase background there. Um, I'm not going to do anything to the house. I like the neutralness. This is one of the heart ornaments also from Dollar Tree that I will glue down. And then this forever little cutout here is also from Dollar Tree. <laughs> and then this ribbon's actually from Michael's. It's Christmas ribbon, but it works perfect for this project. So I just tied it in a little simple, simple bow. And then I used one of the keys also from Dollar Tree. I cut the ribbon in half lengthwise and just kind of tied it around the top of the key. And then I just adhere all this down with hot glue. That's how quick this project is, no painting involved. And it's actually one of my favorite little accent pieces in this collection. My vignette isn't complete without a garland, so I grab some of these pieces. I don't end up using the big hearts. So I take the little brown hearts there I'm from Dollar Tree, and then of course the wood ones are from that Hobby Lobby um, pack that I used earlier, and I just kind of make a pattern with them. Then I'm going to take one of these big beads, these unfinished beads, they are linked below, and I'm going to put one in between each heart. That's it. I just um, put them on some twine and easy peasy garland. I hope you enjoyed this video today, these super easy and quick Valentine DIYs. Until next time, happy crafting!